Hey my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna show you how to fix the colors in old photos. So this is the original picture and this is the direction we are going into. The topic was suggested by Blue Knight. Thank you for the idea. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria. And I wanna thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that. Let's get started. So um, to before we start, I looked at several different methods online on how to get the color back. You can see this picture is in a really bad state. It's not very sharp, it's discolored. There's a lot of problems with that picture. And a lot of tutorials, they try to fix it with white balance and with curves and all these kind of things, but they require you to understand uh, more about how to work with colors and all these kind of things. And I was looking for more an easier way that is kind of more of automatic. So I came up with basically my own method and I will show you what I did. Let's delete all these layers here. And so the thing is, when you look at an old photo, um, you can see that different colors are faded in a different way. So this is not just um, uh, like a fix of removing the brown and magically all the colors will be good again. Different areas should be drift, uh, treated differently in the picture. So I was thinking, how can I do that? And I came up with a very easy method. So what you do is you take your picture and duplicate it. So right click on it, duplicate, and you can see that the layer at the right at this moment is in the format image. It has to be in the format pixel. So right click again and rasterize it. So now it says in the brackets, it says pixel. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to go up here to layer and then invert. So it looks like this. And you can already see that we can now address every area in the picture individually with this. It, for, it works like a filter. So what we're going to do is to set it to overlay like this. And this doesn't look very impressive at the moment, but what we're going to do is to blur the picture. So go to effects, Gaussian blur, and you can push this to maximum. And if this is not enough, you can enter numbers here and play around with the settings until you're satisfied. I will enter 300 pixels here. Uh, so we get kind of a softer layer. We can set it to normal again, so you can actually see the layer. It looks like this. Oh, actually, by the way, what we have to do is uh, with the layer effects, you have to click to preserve alpha. So it doesn't go transparent on the sides as we have seen right now. That was pretty good that we did that. And you can see now that we have different areas still in our picture ad addressing the different parts of the picture. Okay, let's set it back to overlay. So still this isn't perfect. So what we have to do is again duplicate our picture and rasterize it. And then let's put this up here on top. We are going to go to filters, to blur and to average because this will blur it so hard that we get an average of all the colors in the picture. So just one color is left. So it looks like this, just a brown slur over all of the picture. And again, we go to layer and invert like that. And now this time we're going to set the blend mode, not to overlay, but instead to color burn. Uh, where is it? There is color burn. It's way too dark, but it's not a problem because we are going to go into our blend ranges. You can see here this little cogwheel that opens the blend ranges and we go to the left box where it says source layer ranges. Pull down on the left side so it's like this and then you can also click here in the middle and also unhook down here the area where it says linear. Unhook that and pull it down a little bit so you're satisfied. Uh, let's, yeah, we can keep it like that. Good. It's a little bit too dark still, but it's not a problem because now we will make an adjustment layer. So you can see, by the way, so at this moment, I want to point out, you can see that the fixing of the colors is automated. You don't have to go into curves and play around with the different um, red and blue and green colors, curves and all this kind of stuff and understand all this kind of thing of how it works. You just apply these blend, uh, blended layers and it automatically fixes the colors where they need to be fixed. So that's very easy. Okay, 
Next one, adjustment layer levels. And here we are just going to push in on both sides till it starts. So here you can see where the histogram is starting. Over here for the white side, we have the lever down here. So we push that into 85 where it starts. And then uh, for the gamma, I will push this over a little bit here, um, maybe so it gets nice and bright. Uh, maybe we can push it, let's see, to here. That looks good. Okay, so the last thing that I want to fix doesn't really have to do anything with the colors, but still to make the picture a little bit nicer, we will go and make a live filter. Live filter, unsharp mask, and this will create a sharpening for our picture using also a mask. And you can see here, this is not how to do it because now the unsharp marks is applied to our levels adjustment. So it will do nothing at all. Click on it. So it's highlighted just this layer and pull it up. So it's on top of the other layers. Okay. So now we're going to set our radius to 1.5. You might need another setting depending on the resolution of your picture. And I will leave the threshold on 0% and just move up my factor uh, to, well, actually like a value where I think it looks cool. Uh, yeah, let's maybe leave it like that. Okay, good. And one thing to point out here is when you restorate or when you color fix an old picture, it will never look like a new picture that you have taken yesterday because it's still analog film and it still was reacting differently. So you can all, you can reset it to the colors it has when the picture was taken, which still is an old film in an old format on an old camera. So it will look like an old picture, not like a new picture but you have restored the colors. And when you look here now in the pictures, you see that you have really nice detail. Look at the different details here. For example, the different green and blue patterns here on his jacket, or also over here, the reflection of the green light coming from outside of the window, reflecting on his brown leather jacket. And you can also see that he has like rot, uh, red and green or blue dots i'm not right sure um which color it is so and also here up in the advertisement the colors so it's really a very nice and easy way to fix the picture and to get the original colors that have been in the picture okay that was a very easy fix on how to restore colors in an old faded picture in the next tutorial, I will show you how to fix a black and white picture so you get rid of damages and scars and all these kind of other things so it looks better or like fixed, basically restored. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to have other tutorials, please suggest them in the comments. Thank you very much and see you soon. Oh, by the way, if you look in my details, I also have a link to my online store. We have nice, interesting digital products like brushes for Affinity Photo, lots, um, designs for slideshows, stuff like that. Okay, have a nice day. Bye.